Before the race for the French presidency reaches its conclusion, there is one last big duel for the candidates, a highly anticipated TV debate. The independent centrist candidate Emmanuel Macron, who's pro-Europe, pro-business and socially liberal, will go head-to-head -head with the far right's Marine Le Pen, who's anti-immigration and anti-Europe. Two very different candidates with two opposing visions for France. They'll discuss the economy, security and foreign affairs in a battle of wits expected to be watched by millions of voters. It is a very important moment for people who haven't decided. I've made up my mind, so it's less essential for me. People don't listen properly to the candidates' programs, and it's all become too confrontational, too conflictual. The television debate between the two hopefuls is a key part of the French presidential election campaign. It's a tradition which dates back more than 30 years, and history has shown that it can make or break a candidate. In 2007, the right-wing Nicolas Sarkozy and socialist Ségolène Royal faced off in a tense and bitter debate. Sarkozy had the upper hand and went on to win the presidency. Five years later, it was Sarkozy's turn to falter, losing out to François Hollande, who was regarded by a majority of viewers as more presidential. Conservative Jacques Chirac refused to debate his far-right opponent, Jean-Marie Le Pen. Le Pen's daughter has tried hard to soften the party's image. Experts say her strategy in the TV debate will be to get under Macron's skin. Marine Le Pen will try to reverse the roles. Since the first round, she has been saying Macron is very aggressive, he's violent and we must block him. She tries to accuse him of exactly what people accuse her of, being aggressive. So what Marine Le Pen will try to do is push Macron to his limits. Macron will need to keep his cool if he's to win the contest and maintain his lead. He's less politically experienced than Le Pen. She's a trained lawyer and it's her last chance to swing the election her way. Many voters are still undecided. Others may abstain. With everything to lose, neither candidate will want to put a foot wrong. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.